Alright, in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to do multiplication and division in assembly. Alright, so as you can see, I've set up the basic um, assembly file uh, to print for a program. So here I set up a message saying uh, the result of the operation will be such and such. And here is the where the code actually resides. And I'm making reference to the printf function from C calling library. And of course, I'm making my main label available to um, external applications. Here I create my stack frame, and here I destroy my stack frame. Okay, so let's go ahead and do multiplication real quick and say we want to do uh, 50 multiplied by 3, which is 150. And so now, how to do this inside of um, assembly is to say we want to move AX register to be 50 because the multiplication instruction expects that whatever you're going to be multiplying by is going to be held inside 50 and it expects that the operand for multiplication is going to be either a register value or a memory location so we're going to use a memory location because it's slightly faster to access the CPU memory as opposed to actual memory locations and so now we're going to say multi multiply by ECX. Now this means that we're going to say 3, the value stored inside the AX register, because this has to be a register value or a memory location. This multiplied by the value stored inside of AX register. So 50 times 3. And the result of the operation is going to be stored inside of AX register, which means that 50 is going to be erased and 150 is going to be put in its place. So uh, let's go ahead and call the printf function. Okay, so over at our assembly line, we're going to compile the program by saying uh, NASM uh, netwide assembler produce an EL ELF file using the input file ASM and produce an output file called mults.o and so it compiles it and then we're going to link it to the actual program to say GCC make an output file called MLT and use the input file that we generated from here and so now we're going to run the program and there we go so this is the result and of course it's 150 so now let's do division Okay, so for division, uh, it's slightly more different. Uh, it's a little bit different because an additional register is put in place. Um, so general information, uh, let's cover something real quick by saying, uh, looking at the netwide assembler. Um, so this is the file, the website that I visited real quick to get some information. Okay. So what it's saying is, sorry, the number we're going to be dividing by should be held inside of the AX register such that the higher end of the number is stored inside of the DX register and the lower end of the number is stored inside of the AX register. And the results is stored again um, in the AX register while the remainder is stored inside of the EDX register. So let's use this knowledge to um, perform division so so basically we're still wanting to do 50 divided by 3 but in this case what we're going to do is say move edx with 0 because really what this is going to translate to is saying we want to do edx in combination with the eax register all of this value okay is going to be divided by 3 that's basically what's going on. So, to satisfy this rather odd combination is we want to say um, move zero into the EDX such that this will be zero plus um, the number stored inside of uh, e, uh, AX register. So that's it. Now remember, of course, the result is still stored inside of the AX register. And so let's go back to our command line and recompile the program. We generate the file, we link it, 
and we run it. Oh, mistake, I should change this to divide and save. So if we do this again, and of course we get 16. Um, it's 16. It's 16 because we're doing integer multiplication, so the lower end, uh, so it just returns the whole integer. And so, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. All right, well, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Please, as always, leave a comment below and rate and subscribe. Thank you.